Hey, how's it going everybody? It's a new year, so I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite channels that you should be watching in 2022. Now to be fair, there are way too many channels for me to put in one video, so I picked the channels that are under 10,000 subscribers that are pretty active and that have really helped me and I enjoy watching. The first two I owe most of my knowledge to, I wouldn't know half as much about Fusion as I do without them, so let's start off with Simon Stansfield, a really great channel, lots of Fusion stuff. Most of his tutorials are beginner friendly, so it's a great place to jump in. He's always doing something interesting, and if you're in any of the DaVinci Resolve discords, he's probably answered one or two of your questions. Seriously, he's always in there helping people out and I've come to the firm belief that he never sleeps. It's like if you say the name Simon Sandsfield, he suddenly appears. Next up is DaVinci Resolve How. This channel by John Holt, known to the discords as Mr. J Holt. He also helps quite a bit. And what I love about his channel is he goes into depth on building macros and how to actually alter the Lua code. I highly recommend it if you're into building your own macros or macros for others. He's got great insight with his stuff. He even has a website with some really neat features like BMD training videos and in-depth blogs. Next up is Conti. Conti has a pretty good library of tutorials with fun effects and transitions you can do, as well as tips to help you. I think it's a great channel for doing some cool effects without having to dive too deep into Fusion. You probably know Jake Whip already, but he runs one of the larger DaVinci Resolve discords. So first of all, hats off to him for putting that together. But beyond that, he has a great channel doing motion graphics and VFX. I really enjoy the motion graphics tutorials. They're pretty simple, but they look really good. Unlike someone I know. More into the VFX realm, we have a few channels that have some pretty cool tutorials all done in Fusion. Learn Now FX has a ton of VFX tutorials. I've watched the Doctor Strange ones more than a few times and lots of people have checked out the 3D Ocean. Come on, look at it, that's, that's pretty cool. In the same vein as Filmcore Digital, I like this channel because I'm partial to VFX and I'm also a sucker for a good skit. They're fun. Check them out if you want to learn some cool VFX. Speaking of cool effects, Digital Vector Studios has some pretty neat stuff. Make an animated cloud scene in Fusion or make an asteroid field. His tutorials are just a lot of fun. He also has some Blender to DaVinci Resolve workflow, which I'm always up for. Speaking of Blender and Fusion, you should check out DaVinci Resolve. There aren't many, but what he does have is pretty good. Spider-Man webs, superhero landing, they're great effects for anyone to try out. This list would not be complete without a blackbird called Sue. He specializes in the 3D side of Fusion, especially particles. I've learned a ton from this channel. In fact, my tutorial on making the slinky text probably wouldn't have been possible without his flowers and image slicing tutorials. So for all things particles, please check out this channel. Another great comp channel is Sylvester Velenek. The tutorials are not really for beginners. He mostly shows what he's created and goes over the concept behind it, but they're not usually from scratch. However, he does have the comps available and there's enough in the video that you could recreate it without too much trouble. Last but not least is Emilio Lab Tuts. Emilio, I believe, is one of the fellows responsible for Reactor, along with Vito from Pirates of Confusion. It's a plugin that adds a bunch of functionality to Fusion. Milo's tutorials are great, but they're not for beginners. Unlike the rest of us trying to figure out Fusion in our spare time, you can tell this guy does it for a living. He won't go over every little detail, and the tutorials are definitely aimed at more advanced users. But if you want to see something that a professional can create with Fusion, there's plenty here for you to learn. Go subscribe to some of these channels, all of them if you're an overachiever. Happy dabbling, and we'll see you next time.